as many as 80% of older adults living in long-term care facilities suffer from pain. And as dementia progresses, it can often affect an individual's ability to effectively communicate their pain experience. Fortunately, there's a lot of research that can help address this issue. But despite this, we still see that pain is under-assessed, under-managed, and under-treated in this population. And it can often take an average of 17 years from the time that a research study is conducted to the time that it finally makes it into widespread clinical practice. So in order to help shrink this gap, we wanted to increase the accessibility and uptake of evidence-based information to care caregivers, family members, older adults, as well as health professionals. We turned to a platform that people are already turning to to gain and share information. On October 1st, which is the International Day for Older Persons, we launched a large-scale social media knowledge translation initiative called See Pain More Clearly. And the main goal of our project is that we wanted to raise awareness as well as to share evidence-based information about the problem of pain under treatment and under management in people with dementia. We are systematically evaluating the success of this campaign, and in the first two months that we ran it, we've had over 4.5 million impressions on Twitter, and the hashtag has been used in over 22 countries from all over the world. We wanted to take evidence-based information and transform that into easily understandable and distributable content through clips, videos, and photos so that caregivers and older adults can easily share this and use this drive up for conversations about this topic. Moving forward, what we really want to see is that through the use of innovative methods such as social media, we can really mobilize scientific findings faster, leading to improvements in the quality of life of older adults through improved pain management practices as well as pain assessment. it can often affect individuals' ability to